So it's the start of a new year and we understand that being a new student can be exciting but also nerve-wracking. So we are doing a expectations versus reality video to hopefully give you a gist of what's it like being an SP student and help you settle down into SP life better. When it comes to poly, you start every day at different times and you end every day at different times. When you're back in secondary school, your time is managed by uh, your, your teachers especially. But when you're in poly, you manage your own time. We are much more flexible with our time because you have your own timetable. But the rest of the day, you, you can decide how you want to spend your time. I took a lot of discipline. <laughs> um, I definitely couldn't do what I did when I was in IT, where like, everything was very systematic. Everything was, okay, I do everything in school and I'll go home. When it came to poly, uh, I had to take even more control of my free time and uh, the time that I had to spend in school also. Even though there's a lot more free time, we have to be more disciplined, we have to mature a bit, we have to take note of our work more, we have to take our own initiative, so yeah. Yeah, I find that one thing that helps me the most is like coming up with timelines, you know, so like stage one, what do I do, and then stage two, what do I do. Yeah, so it's just like a constant like checklist of or like quests, and you have side quests, that sort of a thing. Yeah. yeah, so that's one way I try and like, you know, make sure that I put out like consistent effort of work. You meet people from all sorts of places, people not only from secondary schools but also IT where I came from and also people from JC who decided to take a uh, poly education to get a diploma. I met people who have like dropped out of JC just because it didn't suit them. Mm -hmm. I have met people who are like who came from IT and they're like as capable and I learned a lot of things from them. Having a study body is really beneficial especially especially when you're in year one because that's when yeah. you're very cold to the surrounding. So me and her, we'll meet when we're in year one, during lunch breaks, and then we'll help each other out with the projects. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> For group projects, I think that's very case-by-case -case basis. So different courses will have different structures as to how they allocate you to different groups. Yeah, of course, like most of the time, right? It's just yeah. like the class this Excel sheet open, then they copy it, they paste it in a randomizer, then oh, and then yeah, the groups just like churn out and like that's your group. But I think be it whatever groups, don't think too much about it because you're going to be working with different people regardless and I think everyone has different skill sets, everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. Communication helped us a lot, we were very open with what we preferred on doing. Ask your teacher, ask your lecturer, they would be more than helpful to help you out and, and understand it. And if not, if you're, if you're left on your own for that project, that's when you, you show your creativity. You show what you can do with the little that you've got. A lot of people like say that, you know, if it's not compulsory, don't go for it. Or like they just go for it and then they're just like, where's my CCA point, you know? Yeah, but it's really just, it's really about like the process. Yeah, because I feel like um, you got to have like strike a balance between like, what work is and what like you know just having a having like fun times is you know i think joining a cca you have to have a very clear-cut idea of what you want to achieve or what you want to get out of a cca they're very nice people for you to meet and to connect with and um, a lot of fun things for you to do in ccas especially for some ccas you don't have to attend every day like some clubs you can just attend their events so when you attend these events right the, the cca points will come to you naturally so you don't have to worry about that as much as work is important, I think your personal life and personal health is as important if not even more important. Because I've personally seen a lot of people who prioritise their grades over their personal health and they really suffer as a result. My self-care is very simple in the sense that I take care of my body. So taking care of my body would be uh, eating enough and also drinking enough water because I think keeping myself hydrated at all points of time, even when doing work and doing projects, I think sometimes we can get too caught up the work. I make sure that I have that time just for my dance or whatever I like doing so that uh, I force myself to have a break or so, so I, you know, th that helps with my mental health. The main takeaway points are, first, prioritise the tasks and plan ahead to avoid last minute work. Second, keep an open mind to work with different people for group projects. Third, communicate clearly with teammates and identify each other's strengths. Fourth, join a CCA or interest group to form new connections. And lastly, strike a balance between work, play and rest. Allocate time for self-care during busy periods. <laughs>